Hi, I'm Lori Henning. This is Project Happy Life. Uh, my wife Cindy has a suitcase and we just got back from her mom's funeral and when we picked up the suitcase from the baggage check it had a, um, a wheel that the rubber had fallen off of so it was kind of going clunk 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 when she dragged it around. So for her birthday, which was a couple days ago, I bought a set of new wheels but the um, the little bearing axle is too wide to fit in the slot. Um, so I'm gonna grind this down so it fits and then I'm gonna show you how to take the old wheels out and put the new wheels in. Here's the inside of this suitcase and you can see here that there's a little plate um, and if you wanna take the wheel out you have to pull this plate out. <laughs> and it flies across the room. But that is then exposing this Phillips screw, which is the axle for this wheel here. And um, I've already taken this wheel out. And you can see this is the old crummy wheel. And this is the new wheel, but it's too wide for this spot. The grinder wheel that I have is a Norton grinding wheel. It's made for sharpening chisels and whatnot so that it runs a bit cooler and you don't lose temper. I could have switched to a, uh, a heavier grit for the grinding of this, but I didn't want to run the risk of it getting too hot and melting the bearings or the plastic around there, so I stuck with what I had. Okay, I'm back and I ground off the little axles in my um, wheels. So we're going to try and put them back now or put them in for the first time. Let's see if they fit. And the answer is no. So you can see here that I'm holding the work on the bottom of the downward slope, not underneath the wheel, but in front of the wheel before it turns back under so I can see what I'm doing and protect myself. One more time, let's see. So close. So I guess I have to grind these off almost down to the bearing. Back downstairs. Anything that spins really fast, like a bench grinder in this case, can really catch your clothes and wind them up in the machinery and hurt you. So you have to be careful and keep your wits about you. Oh, still more. I had thought for a minute about trying to widen the wheel wells or something, but it would crack and be bad. So on the right hand side of the grinder I have a wire wheel brush and that is sort of like sandpaper for metal. It just takes all the ridges off, smooths all the burrs out, and um, makes sure that it won't catch or slice into the wheel well. Ha ha! Got it. Got them both. That's great. It's kind of a tight fit tight fit but that's good. I just realized I forgot to find the other little plate that flew over there somewhere. Uh, that's gonna be the last step because I think that might be the hardest step. I did a little experimenting to see how I could align the wheel with the hole for the axle so I could get the bolt in and I found the best thing for this was a nail set but you could probably use anything with sort of a cone shaped tip to fit in there then you pull that out and put the bolt in there it is all put back together and here's the, oops here's the wheel now we have to do that with the second wheel i have the screw axle these are the old wheels but i gotta find that little plate it's over there somewhere. 
How frustrating and disappointing can this get? So I fixed the suitcase. See, two wheels. But the little plate that ensures that the screw won't fall out flew out as I pulled it out with my pliers. It flew somewhere and I can't find it. And I looked pretty hard. Now, for your amusement, I'm filming myself looking. So, here's hoping. I know it's not in here because I heard it click when it fell. So I took the other one out so I could hear it click also and confirm, I think that the sound from the recording is the sound of the floor. But I'm gonna experiment. Anyway, I'm shaking the suitcase out. I don't think it's in here. It fell on my foot! How did that happen? It just, just, it fell on my foot! This thing, it fell out of the chair onto my foot! Holy crap, look! Now we have two of them! Now we have two of them! Okay, I gotta put the apartment back together and put Cindy's suitcase back together before she gets home because this is her birthday surprise. That's crazy. It fell out of that chair onto my foot. Holy moly. All right, well, reconstituting the mess. I've got my uh, needle nose pliers. I've got my, I don't need that. I've got my screwdriver, but I took the tip out because I think I could push down on these little metal bits with the screwdriver and I have two little metal bits. I was trying to think how am I going to make this without it being a disaster or really hard or take too much time. I found it. Okay, come with me. The last thing that's helpful to know about putting this thing back together is that the needle nose pliers are useful to take all that fabric out of the way when you're trying to get the bolt in and the little plate in there. Suitcase, almost back together. I'm just gonna zip this up. And um, probably gonna need two hands to do that, maybe. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna need two hands to do that. But that's it. We fixed the suitcase. The wheels are back in. They roll, they spinny spin. Both wheels, they're no longer junk. Cindy's suitcase, Eagle Creek suitcase is back in action for the next adventure. All right, Project Happy Life. Fix things, don't throw them out. It was, uh, I guess it was $8 for the wheels and then another $8 for shipping or a little bit less. I think the total was around $15. So um, $15 to restore your suitcase versus a zillion dollars to buy a new one and the waste that you're putting into the universe. You don't want that karma. All right, Project Happy Life, fix it and uh, enjoy your life. All right, bye.